my channel um, here at Caffeine and Lesson Plans. If you are new here, I am a military wife and homeschool mom, and I like to show videos on curriculum and um, uh, supplementary curriculum, manipulatives, anything that really has to do with um, school and life and children and all of that good stuff. And so if you're new here, welcome. Um, if you are a subscriber already, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. I've got a lot of cool videos coming up and um, I don't want you to miss them. So today, what I'm going to be showing you is the Groovy Lab in a Box monthly subscription box. And this is by Popular Mechanics. Um, I am not affiliated with this company um, or service. This was actually a birthday present for my kids from my dad and he purchased the six month subscription for us. And um, I always tell family members um, these, a lot, I mean, there's a, you know, there's like a billion of these types of subscription boxes, but they are a great gift idea because you can choose, you know, three, six, 12 months typically. Um, and there's so many different types, whether it's science or history or, um, you know, food. And so I, uh, I was really excited when my dad got the kids this and so we've gotten the first two um, and we actually haven't we got the first one right when we moved in so we haven't had um, time to really get into it but the nice thing about these subscription boxes are they can hang out until you have time to actually start using them but I wanted to show you them before we took them apart and started using them so the first one let me see I think this I believe this is the first one it comes in a nice cardboard box like this um, yes so this is the first one so you get this let me move this out of the way so you get this nice little lab notebook it says groovy lab in a box um, lab notebook what goes up a lesson in force okay and so you if you want to check out before we get into this if you want to check out um, all that they offer you can go to groovylabinabox.com um, their subscriptions start at $29.95 for a month to month, then for um, three months it's $28.95, six months is $27.95, and then I believe a year is $24.95. And right now it's like if you, if you do a three month, you get a free box, a six month, you get two free boxes, and I cannot remember if it's like, it might be three boxes free for a year, but you should definitely check it out. It's really cool. So when you open it, there is, hold on, let me get that. You can see there, there's a little welcome. Um, it has a note for the grown ups, safety uh, notes, and um, it has the table of contents here. Um, it talks about, because we're talking about force. Sorry about this, it's hard to hold on to. Uh, there's the engineering design process, um, and then you have the next generation science standards over here. And so you have science and engineering practices, disciplinary core ideas, and cross-cutting concepts. So that kind of gives you a basic overview. And so then you actually talk about the concept. So we're talking about force. And so here it says what goes up, engineering design process, so we're talking about roller coasters, investigating roller coasters. And I like that it's colorful and has pictures. Um, investigate, spin me right round. So this is the first um, little activity that you do. What is a force? So you talk about what force actually is. Um, investigate, spin me right round. This is kind of the, the second part of that little experiment. And then you have brainstorm paper roller coaster build tips. So this is actually what the kids are going to be doing is building a paper roller coaster. Um, it talks about the challenge down here and the criteria for the challenge and all of that good stuff. But I like that they go through the brainstorming process. There's a key for how to um, go about cutting and scoring and folding certain things for your paper roller coaster. And then it talks about um, the columns and the beams, which materials to use for that, um, making the track itself. So these are the supports. These are what you would use for the track, which is kind of funny. It reminds me of the Hot Wheels uh, tracks. Um, 
making the curve so there's certain ones that are perforated so that you can curve them. Um, different types of things you can do. So the loop-de-loops, um, and then it talks about brackets, shelves, and attaching columns to the base. So the box itself is going to be the base. And so you can see as you go through, it goes very in-depth on how to actually go about. And then in the back, they have um, areas to brainstorm what you want your coaster to look like. And then here's toward the final design. And then the testing and redesigning. <clears throat> and then there's information more on the back. Um, one thing I was just thinking about... Um, so this obviously, the Groovy Lab in a Box is not, this is not um, something for younger kids, you know. This isn't like the Kiwi Crates or the Tinker Crates. Um, it's definitely, I would say you're talking at least eight and up um, because you're dealing with a little bit more complex science um, concepts and then you can see that the experiments are a little more in depth. Now, I have three kids, um, nine, eight, and six, and um, so my six-year-old wouldn't be able to do this on his own, but with his older siblings kind of taking charge as far as being the leader for this task, he would be able to uh, jump in and um, work with his siblings. So if you have little kids um, and you're willing to really sit down and work with them, I think that that would be good. Um, and they would be able to do that, but they, it wouldn't be like he would be able to just pick this up and do it on his own. So just uh, wanted to say that before we opened up the box and got to the supplies. So you saw in there that it taught, it showed the different things that you were going to need. So you have the little cup when you're starting to talk about forces and you've got the string and the little crystals and stuff that go along with that. There's also a marble in there for the roller coaster. You have a pen and some tape. You have a ruler. And then you have a little wooden, it looks like a skewer. So you have that and then you have, let me get this stuff back in here, and then you have the paper. And so um, you have a score and fold practice sheet, which is kind of nice, because then you could copy that and if you have more than one kid, which I do, and then they can all practice scoring and folding before they actually use the paper itself. Um, it, the paper is a little curved from being in a box, but that's fine. Um, so you can see that these are the ones that curve around because it shows you where to cut so that they can, the paper can curve. So you have a couple sheets of those. You have the straight tracks and you can see the, um, the lines where you're supposed to fold and where you're supposed to cut. And so you have quite a few pages of those. Down here you have some brackets and then for the loops, the loop-de-loop. -loop. And then you have the paper for the columns. And then these are the shelves that the track sits on. And these are a pretty sturdy cardstock paper. Here's some more for the columns. And this, this is a, um, this is not cardstock, it's a thicker paper. Think um, maybe planner, like a nice planner paper, I would say. Um, but this is this is a thicker cardstock. So that is what you get in this box. And like I said, this is called What Goes Up a Lesson in Force. Let me put this back in there and then I will open up box number two for y'all. And I will definitely when we we're gonna start um we're gonna start with the force one and we are going to get into that hopefully soon. Um, one quick little side note. Um, it may take a bit um, for us to get into that and get the video out to you guys to show us or to show you how we went through it because we just found out from our landlord she needs to sell our house and then we've been here for two months and now we have to find a new home. And finding a new home up in the Pacific Northwest here around Tacoma in our price range is not easy. Um, things are very expensive. Houses go very quickly. And so we just found out two days ago. And so we are scrambling to try to find something. And so um, I will try to be doing videos uh, when I can. Um, probably just kind of short videos 
um, but I still want to stay connected to y'all. Um, but I just want to let you know that if for some reason I'm like gone for a while, it's because it's been crazy. But hopefully I can pop in and give you updates on what's going on. So this was this second month box. And this is, um, it's electric, a lesson in electricity. So once again, you have the welcome, you have the safety tips, you have the table of contents, and then the science standards. It's cross-cutting, the cross-cutting concepts, science and engineering practices, and disciplinary core ideas for uh, the experiment itself. And then you have, it's electric, engineering design process. So investigate atoms. So you're gonna be talking about atoms and where electricity actually comes from. Investigate stuck on you. So you're gonna be talking about static electricity. So attract and repel a new kind of STEM fashion. So funny, cause you get to use the balloon and make their hair stick up. And then groovy magic show. Then you have investigate paper circuits. So you're gonna be making paper circuits, which this one's a little bit easier than the, the roller coaster. Um, it's not as, uh, you know, it's not as tedious, I guess, of, as the cutting and folding and all that, the roller coaster. And so you've got all of the different uh, steps and processes for that. And then you have investigate buzz me. And so it tells you how to use this box to create another circuit. It shows you how to do all of that. And then here you have brainstorm. It's electric engineering design challenge. And so it gives you all of the information for that. And then you have the areas to brainstorm, the final design for that, and then the test it and all of the notes, okay? So let's see what is in the box. So here you have Einstein. <laughs> it has, I have one special, or I have no special talents. I am only passionately curious, Albert Einstein. So on this side you have the circuit pattern and this is a thick cardboard and then you just have a blank sheet for your own circuit and this is more of a, a thin type paper. I guess regular paper. Then you have a wooden skewer. And then you can see you have the little, you know, the little, I'm not even sure the terminology of these. I, it's been so long since I've done stuff with circuit. Here you go. I'm trying to see. I wonder if, I was looking to see if it had. I guess each activity has the materials list. They don't have like a master materials list for everything included in the box. But these are some LED lights. Um, it looks like maybe a resistor. Yeah, the LED lights. Okay, sorry. Bamboo skewer, you've got some popsicle sticks, some copper wire. Let's see, you can see all of that stuff in there, the little brads. Then you have the connector for the battery. These look like little um, sticky foam things. You've got clothespins. Oops, pushpins trying to fly out. You got a push pin, um, let's see, it looks like, uh, kind of like a copper tape in there, some of it looks a little, looks like it came off, sorry, it looks there like it came off some of that, so hopefully that's, there's extra that it won't be an issue, it looks like there's some sticky glue dots, uh, there's a battery in here, then you have a balloon, a ruler, a straw, and some pepper. And that is it, other than the box itself. I like that they utilize the box in these experiments too. It's kind of nice to use everything that it comes with.
So I just wanted to give you a quick look at both of those boxes so that I know sometimes when you're looking to pick subscription boxes, it's nice to actually really get into some of the boxes and see what uh, they contain in more of a live video than just pictures uh, on a website. So if you have any questions about the Groovy Lab in a Box kit, just post them below in the comment box. Um, and I will make sure to put the website in the description box below. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.